Finance Committee meeting of April 5th. We have several articles on the agenda tonight that will be hopefully voted to so they can get into the book. Um, but to get started, let's do a roll call of attendance so we can be on the record. Um, please signify by saying here, Denny. Here. Josette. Here. Allie. Here. Andrew. Here. Steve. Here. Susan. Here. Uh, Kathleen. Here. Lucy. Here. Brian. Here. Doug. Here. Mark. Here. Lisa. Here. And myself. So 13 present, and hopefully Jeff will join us shortly. All righty. Uh, Jim, did you want any opening remarks, or should we jump right into Article 5? Let's get right into it. Okay. All right. Article 5 is the current year fiscal budgets. Uh, this time, the only one that looks like it needs some help is uh, FIRE, according to Jim's handout. Um, obviously, the, the biggest chunk was increasing our staffing and opening up um, Station 2 so that we could keep our firefighters safe by having smaller staff in a confined space. Um, and the fire department is looking for an additional $170,000. Any questions, discussions for Jim or the chief? I have a question, Mark. Go ahead, Mark. Um, I'm just trying to understand the, the write-up that talks about four new firefighters approved at the select board in April. Right. Chief, did you want to handle that one? You may have it, Tim. Yep, Sorry about that. Um, <clears throat> Mark, which, which one are you, what are you referring to? I'm referring to the um, the email that we got from Jim. That was, that was says, additional, additional four firefighters back last April? That was last April, correct. Yeah, that, that was the emergency hires? Correct. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm all set. I, I, thought it, I thought it was this April. No. No. Okay, I'm all set. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Ready. Uh, Quick meeting. Uh, okay, I got Doug first and then Josette. Yeah, I just had a question about the funding sources. Um, I see that some of this is uh, capital funding from previous years. And I was curious, I, I know we, we had a fall town meeting article, I think it was two, two years ago, that talked about capital projects. But I wasn't sure what the rationale was behind um, when projects are chosen you know i see that we've got some on the list that are like 10 years old and so i wasn't sure if there were any um if we were doesn't look like we're precluded from scope or or limitations i just wasn't sure what the rationale was behind choosing some projects uh when they're just a year old versus others that are 10 years old um could you talk a little bit about that how, yeah. how those decisions are made so um i'll just run through them real quick i have everything here from Old assessor's net work money for $251 all the way down to an F350 uh, van that was purchased in the fall of 2019. Um, basically, uh, I've, I went to each department head, said you have an unspent balance in your capital accounts. Here's what they are. Um, we'd like to close out some of these projects to clean up the books. Um, some of the older ones, there is something here from PONS O&M manuals from 2010. That's operation and maintenance. It's uh, some money here for three thousand dollars dam inspection stormwater at, at with this one it's kind of interesting carl the town engineer i went to him and i said you know maggie had asked to hold over this money and he said quite honestly i don't know why she held it over but if i need money for stormwater i'll come back and ask for, for a whole lot more and more or less this forty three thousand is to, to clean up the books a little bit we actually did this back at the spring town meeting uh sorry the fall the the fall town meeting that just happened too. We funded some, I think a couple of capital projects out of this. So just a more or less a way to be transparent and uh, let town meeting know that we're closing out this stuff and the projects are complete. Now, Jim, you said that you, we've started including the closed project listings in the, um, the annual report that we present to RTM members. Uh, no, not that you present the annual report no, that we just dis yeah, the, uh, the, the, the put thick, together every year. The, yeah, the half, half inch thick report. booklet that's always presented at the round table. Pick up a copy and take it home for your reading. Yep. Is, As of um, December 31st, that, yeah. that book will have the balances. I had a couple, 
actually Doug was one of them, uh, ask him, inquire about balances of old accounts. So we figured just going forward, just so there's no questions and we can refer to it. Yeah. Here it is, permanent record. So. Okay. Just, just for off the top of your head, how many projects, you know, other than the ones you've listed here, do you think are still on that list of, you know, truly closed? The money's just kind of lingering. I don't want to get. Let me get back to you on that. I, okay. I don't know off the top of my head, and I don't have it in the binder. So, okay. Um, let me get back to you. Okay. Actually, will the um, will that report be available at town meeting? In on the uh, actually, Patrick brought it to the printer a couple of weeks ago, so. It is, uh, it's going to be available online in the next, it's, we're, we're going to have hard copies and I'm just checking to see if it's already up online. So it's okay. not yet, Jim, it's, it's, okay. it's currently being printed. We'll have that up probably the next week or two. So okay. I just want to make sure between the version that we get the final printer, that there's no more adjustments that need to be made before we can put it up on the website. So keep a lookout for that in the next week or two. Okay. Thank you, Pat. Uh, um, if I, I just have one quick follow up, um, sure. Jim, is there any um, cost savings that can be realized by getting some of these older projects off the books um, ahead of time? Like, can we prioritize closing the old ones? Will that will that save us some money, or is it all kind of paid for already? No, it, it's paid for already. Yeah, I mean, if, if we close them out, they'll just be moving to free cash, basically. Yep. So at, at this point, we're just trying to truncate a step at this town meeting to, to just move them directly into a budget. Thank you. Yep. Josette, you had a question? Yes. Um, Chief, uh, to retirements, something apparently you weren't anticipating. And with the four people coming on and you're automatically losing two, how's this working in the equation? Is this just going to give you a plus two or does it put you behind the eight ball again? Oh, I'm currently down one higher currently. Um, we had another individual that left two weeks ago, um, but I had two retirements, as, as was mentioned, that uh, I did not anticipate this year. So um, it's always hard because I, they don't give me notice. There's nothing that says that they have to give me notice other than the two-week notice. So it just happened that both of these individuals, it was they decided it was time to go and they left. So, um, But I, like I said, I am down currently one. Both of those two that retired have been filled, um, and it just keeps it, us at our 10, 10 per group um, status that we're currently at. Like I said, I had one that left uh, two or three weeks ago that um, we're currently trying to fill. Okay, thank you. You are. Real quick follow-up, though. The, the budget that we approved a couple of weeks back, though, that has all those vacancies being funded, so you can put ads in the paper now to try to get all those additional positions backfilled, right? So as as they vacate, we fill them. So because okay. they are budgeted. So okay. um, I do have one that I'm still working on right now to get us back to 10 on the fourth group. Okay. Alrighty. Um, Brian, were you all set with your question? You had your I was going to, I was going to, yes, I was going to ask the same thing Josette did. Okay. It's Josette. <laughs> Great minds. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, I don't see any other hands raised. Any other questions real quick? Uh, just a quick comment. Sure. Chief, I've enjoyed watching your troops uh, uh, train at the Turner's Pond the last couple of weeks. It's been fun to watch. Uh, thank you. Yes, they've, they've been out there quite a bit uh, recently. So thank you. Alrighty. All right. So there being no other questions, um, the town administrator has proposed um, asking for $170,000 to supplement the fiscal year 2021 personnel line of the fire department uh, to be broken down by free cash of $126,359.33 and by transferring from completed capital projects as itemized in our handout for a total of $43,000. $640.67. Do I have so, a motion? Motion so moved. Denny. Favorable action. Okay. Motion by Denny. Do I have a second? Second. By Brian. Um, as just for reference, what's in the handout will actually be detailed in the booklet as the motion, correct, Jim? Itemizing all those accounts? Or do I have to physically read up? Oh, you're muted again, Jim. 
Do you want it in the booklet? Usually you don't. Uh, usually you don't have it in the booklet, but okay. we make a little note in the packet. Uh, okay, so it'll be it'll it'll basically be part of the handouts then, referencing yes. the funding sources. Okay, I just yeah. want to make sure because we weren't itemizing them here. I just want to make sure that the RTMs get the itemization. Yeah, well, I was gonna. I had a separate little cover for Article Five, so yes. Okay, alrighty. All right, so we have a motion and a second for favorable action. No other discussion. Denny. Uh, yes. Josette. Yes. Allie. Yes. Andrew. Yes. Steve. Yes. Susan. Yes. Uh, Kathleen. Yes. Lucy? Yes. Brian? Yes. Doug? Yes. Mark? Yes. Lisa? Yes. Myself is a yes. Did Jeff make it in yet? I don't see him. So 1300 for favorable action. Okay. Article 7. Uh, this is for current year 2021 uh, water enterprise budget. Yes. Um, I know Jim has made a recommendation for no action, uh, but Mr. Abbott is here. Do you uh, concur with the town administrator's recommendation for no action? I do. Okay. All right. Uh, any questions or comments? Denny? Just going to move for no action on Article 7. Okay. Second. That was Susan for the second? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All righty. We have a motion in the second. And Denny? Yes. Josette? Yes. Allie? Yes. Andrew? Yes. Steve? Yes. Susan? Yes. Kathleen? Yes. Lucy? Yes. Brian? Abstain. Abstain. Doug? Yes. Mark? Yes. Lisa? Yes. Myself is a yes. And still no Jeff. 12.01 for favorable, uh, sorry, for no action on Article 7. Um, Article 8, we had already voted the budget portion of Article 8. Um, but what is before us tonight is the funding source. Because um, when we had our discussion, we went through all the expense side and now we've got a proposal to um, fund our budget um, with user fees three million seven hundred and fifty one thousand seven hundred and fifty four dollars two hundred dollars from retained earnings five hundred and twenty seven thousand two hundred thousand two hundred thousand <laughs> oh sorry about that two hundred thousand from retained earnings um five hundred twenty seven thousand 515 from miscellaneous receipts. Um, did the uh, sewer and water commissioners vote on this at this point? Yes, they have. Okay. All right. Questions or comments? There being none, I'll entertain a vote. Oh, Allie? Got a hand um, up? I just have a question. Did Was the rate set? I know that was a lot of the discussion of the, of the last conversation. No, the rate was not set. Um, they usually set the rates in May or June, right, Bill? Yes, usually the in June. Yeah, so they just set the funding sources for this one. Okay, yes, great. So, That's all. That was my only question. Yeah. So basically, when town meeting takes their action, they'll go back and say, "Okay, what rates do we need to fit within that user fee uh, line item?" But what also uh, comes in is we get a better look at the uh, production. As of right now, uh, I only know what we produce for water up until through the end of February. Mm -hmm. uh, probably later this week, I'll I'll know how we did in March. So it just it, by holding off until June, we have a uh, you know more information to um, be able to come up with a good rate, but not expecting it to be much different than what we've talked about uh, at previous meetings. Okay. All righty. Any other questions or comments? There being none, do I have a motion? So moved. Motion by Denny. Second. Second by Susan. Okay. Uh, all in favor, Denny? Yes. Josette? Yes. Allie? Yes. Andrew? Yes. Steve? 
Yes. Susan? Yes. Kathleen? Yes. Lucy? Yes. Ryan? Abstain. Doug? Yes. Mark? Yes. Lisa? Yes. Myself is a yes, and Jeff is still absent. Favorable action, 1201. Article 9. Uh, current year 2021 20, sewer enterprise fund budget. The town administrator is recommending no action. Uh, he does not uh, foresee a shortfall. Does the sewer and water commissioners agree? Ms. No, Sam? no, we uh, we voted uh, 311 uh, for using uh, 200,000 from sewer retained earnings. Okay, yeah. and if I could just piggyback on Bill's comment here. Um, when I wrote this, I, I we Bill got some more data. Um, he got together with Bernie. Uh, they both thought it, it was going to be really close, and they didn't want to take the chance of finishing within a deficit. So okay. I'm totally fine with this uh, this recommendation or request from Bill. Okay. So the motion before us is two hundred thousand from sewer retained earnings. Yes. Okay. Yes, Any questions or comments? Alrighty, there being none, I'll entertain a motion. Motion for favorable action for 200,000 from <laughs> retained earnings. Okay, do I have a second? Susan, yep. Alrighty, uh, so we have a motion and a second for favorable action, $200,000 from sewer retained earnings to supplement fiscal year 2021 sewer enterprise fund budget. In favor, Denny? Yes. Josette? Yes. Allie? Yes. Andrew? Yes. Steve? Yes. Susan? Yes. Kathleen? Yes. Lucy? Yes. Brian? Abstain. Doug? Yes. Mark? Yes. Lisa? Yes. And myself is a yes, and still no Jeff. 1201. Okay. Article 10 is for the funding sources for fiscal 2022 sewer enterprise fund. We have previously voted the budget and now what's before us is a motion for a total of $4,878,592 to come from user fees four million three hundred eighty eight thousand three hundred fifty one retained earnings two hundred thousand dollars miscellaneous receipts two hundred and ninety thousand dollars two hundred two hundred and ninety thousand two hundred forty one dollars any questions or comments there being none i'll entertain a motion motion any? for favorable action okay second a second Susan again. All right. So we motion for favorable action. All in favor, Denny? Yes. Josette? Yes. Allie? Yes. Andrew? Yes. Steve? Yes. Susan? Yes. Kathleen? Yes. Lucy? Yes. Brian? Abstain. Doug? Yes. Mark? Yes. Lisa? Yes. And myself is a yes. And we Mark, are. Yes, she's on. He is on. Jeff, yes. did you want to vote on Article 10, which is yes. the yes. funded sources? You voted yes. Yes? yes. Okay. All right. 1301 for favorable action on Article 10. Article 11 Snow and Ice Deficit. Um, as of the memo that we received last week, we are not in a deficit, and the town administrator is recommending no action. Uh, any questions or comments? There being none, I'll entertain a motion for no action. Move. Moved by Susan. She beat you, Denny. That's fine. <laughs> seconded by. I'll second it. Kathleen. Kathleen. <laughs> Alrighty. 
I was afraid if I moved it, we'd get some snow and ice. So I want to be cautious on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank uh, you. So it's before us is no action on Article 11. All in favor, Denny? Yes. Josette? Yes. Allie? Yes. Andrew? Yes. Steve? Yes. Susan? Yes. Jeff? Yes. Kathleen? Yes. Lucy? Yes. Brian? Yes. Doug? Yes. Mark? Yes. Lisa? Yes. And myself? 1400 for no action. Article 17. Uh, now we're getting into the, the nitty gritty articles. These are um, zoning and bylaw changes. Um, this one is the parking overlay. Jim, I know you've had some issues and qualifications here. So uh, planning board has opened a public hearing, has not physically held discussion on this. Um, did the petitioners ob obtain a new abutters list and get notice out in time to qualify? Uh, they got a new abutters list. Uh, honestly, I don't want to speak for the chair, the planning board, the chair and vice chair. Okay. Have differing opinions on this one. I, I'd like to just recommend uh, to you that you uh, let them have their hearing and uh, let me put in the book as, as a recommendation at town meeting. Okay. <laughs> That's fine with me. So moved by Denny for recommendation at town meeting. Do I have a second? Second. Susan? Susan. Yeah. Okay. For recommendation at town meeting. All in favor, Denny? Yes. Josette? Yes. Allie? Yes. Andrew? Yes. Steve? Yes. Susan? Yes. Jeff? Yes. Kathleen? Yes. Lucy? Yes. Ryan? Yes. Doug? Yes. Mark? Yes. Lisa? Yes. And myself? Recommendation at town meeting 1400. So, Mark, do you want to put that on the agenda for uh, uh, the night of the public hearing? Uh, yes. Okay. And I, and I also want to have a meeting posted for 9 a.m. on May 1st, just okay. as a placeholder in case something pops up. Okay. Yeah, we'll post that for, like, the corner of that little t-ball field, if yeah. you're okay with that. Okay. Yep. Okay. All right. Yeah, because the, um, the planning board is meeting on the 15th on Article 17. Yeah, to be honest with you, I don't know if it's going to be resolved or not. So. Yeah, because I mean, if they didn't get the public, if they didn't repost the meeting on the first, then their fourteen days hasn't started counting yet. So the abutters needed the two weeks notice. <clears throat> yeah. So they may be continuing again. <laughs> oh, maybe. Right. right. Okay. Uh, next up is Article Eighteen. This is for a solar overlay on South Street. Um, we had the petitioners in for discussion, and we were waiting to hear back from what the planning board did. Uh, planning board came out with favorable action 1410. Any questions? Uh, the attorney for the petitioner, I believe, is here. If we have any additional questions, he'll be willing to answer. Mark, one more time on planning board members. It was 410. Four Sorry, four, did I say 14? Yes, you did. <laughs> it's us. <laughs> Sorry. Everything is 14 something with us. Okay, 410. Okay. Uh, they voted favorable action on Article 18. Any other questions? Uh, Brian. Do, do we know what the uh, the no vote was? No vote? At, at the risk of speaking for the planning board, um, it was uh, Sarah Katib who voted no. She early on asked questions about a existing conditions plan, a site plan, or a variety of other um, technical details. Um, my response was uh, basically, and, and I believe town council would vote back me up on this if it needs to go to that point, that the zoning bylaw is very specific about what can and can't be included in the bylaw article. And we are not allowed to put in existing conditions, um, et cetera, et cetera, as part of the article. We can give those as supporting information at any hearing, um, and we're happy to do so. Um, 
And that's all I can tell you. She didn't actually give a reason why she voted no, but I can tell you we had a disagreement of opinion as to what should be in the article versus what should be in the site plan. Um, and I certainly am not going to speak for an elected official as to why she voted one way or another when that I don't believe quite right. So, so, so the article as written is in compliance to be acted on as a bylaw overlay, or sorry, zoning overlay district. <clears throat> um, and the dissenting opinion may or may not be directly related to other items that are not necessarily pertinent to the uh, article or not, but she's not here to uh, speak for people. <laughs> I would simply say that they weren't quite, um, they're not timely yet. We owe her every bit of information she asked for. We do. Okay. When we go for site plan approval. Right. But the Much not like one of the, uh, one of the folks asked at the last meeting, we talked to conservation. Um, we actually have, and I don't mean to take up a lot of your time, but we actually have discussed this with Landis, the agent. There was a site visit last week. She walked through there and again, paraphrasing badly, and I would leave her to actually give her actual opinion. She seemed generally pleased, but is going to withhold judgment until we actually provide a plan. But again, um, in her opinion and ours, it's uh, both premature and inappropriate to follow with the Conservation Commission until we get through town meeting. So that, that's where we stand, but uh, we did meet with her. And we anticipate success should we go through town meeting and file the conservation commission. All right. Any other questions or comments? Lisa. Thank you, Mark. I'm still wrestling with where to find that little hand <laughs> I know it's there somewhere because I've seen it. Um, I have to say, um, this floors me a little bit because I like the planning board to be um, united and I very much respect Sarah Khatib's opinion and I don't have enough knowledge of what information is lacking to um, to make an independent opinion on this. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to go with Sarah, just, you know, sort of stating that in advance. Um, if there's a member of the planning board who feels that more information is required at this point, then I would... I would go along with that. Okay. Other questions or comments? There, uh, Josette? I live on South Street. I am very familiar with the area, and I think it would be a vast improvement as to what is there. So I am hoping that this and the pilot plan all goes forward successfully. We have gone into these ventures previously with other things and have been highly successful um, for the in the town's best interest. So I'm um, hoping, Mr. Mackey, that this will continue in the same manner that previous projects have. Thank you. Uh, Denny, I saw your hand raised. Or Kathleen? Go with Kathleen, because I was just going to put the motion. Yeah, I okay. figured that. Through you, Mark, not to put you on the spot, spot, Jim, but having been through this before, do you have a comment as to what information is necessary? Um, I, from what I understand, uh, I watched the, the hearing. Sarah was a bit hung up on um, the site plan itself and whether or not, why, why wasn't that there? That's never really come up before. I know in the past, Sarah was not serving on this board when we did the other two agreements. Um, I'm confident with this. I've had town council look at it just to make sure we're okay. She's reviewed it. She's comfortable with it too. Uh, I think it's going to be a good green project for the town. Thank you. And correct me if I'm wrong, Jim, but can a planning board member put forward a substitute motion if they're not an RTM? Um, or do they have to get two RTMs to submit a substitute motion? I think it's a new point anyway. She's she's an RTM. Right? She's an RTM. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, if, if she finds that that she's really opposed to this, she can gather a second person and put forth a substitute motion and bring it to the town meeting floor to, um, you know, rebuke our decision or to support, depending on what motion comes before us uh, tonight. Okay. Uh, Denny. I'm going to say motion. <laughs> Motion for favorable, favorable action, action for Article 18. Okay. Second. Seconded by Susan. 
and there's no other discussion in favor of oh, did I hear somebody <laughs> no okay uh, favorable action on article 19 Oh, sorry. 18. sorry, 18. Sorry, I was looking at my wrong column here. Because <laughs> Jim's comments were below 19 with the planning board vote. Okay, Article 18, favorable action, Denny? Yes. Josette? Yes. Allie? Yes. Andrew? Yes. Steve? Yes. Susan? Yes. Jeff? Yes. Kathleen? Yes. Lucy? Yes. Brian? Yes. Doug? Yes. Mark? Yes. Lisa? No. And myself is a yes. 13-1-0 for favorable action. Thank you, Mr. Mackey. Uh, Article 19 is to authorize the Board of Selectmen to enter into negotiations for a payment in lieu of taxes agreement with the petitioner um, for said solar overlay. That basically cover the article, Jim? Yeah, so basically what this does is the first article was the zone, the overlay, the second article authorizes the select board to enter into a, a pilot similar to what we've done with the, uh, the other three that are already ongoing in town. And just from a timing standpoint, we can approve them to enter the pilot agreement, but that pilot agreement would not be implemented until, or wouldn't be negotiated until after planning board and the other boards, or do they do them simultaneously? Uh, it's really the applicant's call. Um, I, I probably would wait to see if the fill gets more towards the end. Um, I wouldn't do it right at the beginning. I, I want them yeah. to go through the process, but yeah. You know. Okay. I, I just wasn't sure timing wise. I mean, obviously we're authorizing it now so that if everything goes well with permitting, they can move forward. Um, okay. Questions or comments on 19? I don't see any. I'll entertain a motion. Motion, your for, hand up first. motion for favorable action, Article 19. Okay. Thank you. Seconded by Susan. And nobody else has hands raised for questions or comments. So all in favor, Denny? Yes. Josette? Yes. Allie? Yes. Andrew? Yes. Steve? Yes. Susan? Yes. Jeff? Yes. Kathleen? Yes. Lucy? Yes. Brian? Yes. Doug? Yes. Mark? Yes. Lisa? No. And myself, 1310 for favorable action. Um, that completes our articles. Um, as Jim mentioned, we will be meeting uh, on Tuesday, the 27th of April at 6 p.m. for the public hearing. And we'll be basically opening directly into the public hearing, correct, Jim, at 6 o'clock? Yes, that is correct. And is the select board meeting at 7? Um, the select board, aren't they moved some things around, but I know the school building committee, I'm 90, Susan, I think you're shaking your head. I'm pretty sure they're meeting that night, and so are you, Jeff. So no, I we, think we, no, we no, moved. That moved. You have that moved. Okay, so yeah. we'll the whole line open. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, but we'll, we'll also post a, uh, an, uh, in addition to the public hearing, we'll also post a regular meeting so that we can revisit 17 if action is necessary um, and anything else that may come before us. Um, so Mark, if you're okay, we'll have the public hearing at six o'clock and maybe I post the, I have no idea how long it's gonna go on. Maybe I post the other thing as 615 second agenda item, so. Yeah, no. okay. okay. I, I'm, I'm just anticipating that when we get to article 20, there may or may not be um, citizen input that may be a case of we take ourselves out of the public hearing and then go back into deliberations on article 20 um, and just address those comments separately from being part of the public hearing um, after the regular citizens get a chance to participate. Okay. So Mark, I just have two public announcements of when you're done, so. Okay, sure. Yeah, that I'll let everyone else go. No, go ahead, Jim. Um, so I just, Nancy Gallivan just emailed me 
it reminded me uh, to remind everyone that on Wednesday night at 7 p.m. is the community forum for the uh, middle school project. They're yeah. soliciting input for that. Um, I can forward everyone the Zoom link if you want it, and we have it posted online, obviously. And my other only other comment was uh, town meetings on May 1st, uh, 2021, on Turco Field at the high school at 10 a.m. Yeah. Okay. And, and at this point, we're going to post a FinCom meeting tentatively for 9 a.m. if needed. So we're at least on the record. Hey, hey, Jim, sorry, Mark. Good. Uh, we have uh, if it rains on the first, what what's the plan? Rain dates the uh, Sunday the second, and if it rains then, it's the following weekend. So <laughs> it's better than <laughs> saying we're going to get wet. So yeah. Well, well, like last time, we waited until basically ten o'clock on Friday morning to say, do we go at ten o'clock or do we go at two o'clock? And uh, <laughs> you know, the weather forecast held up, so we could go at ten. So. How do we know if we are meeting at nine or not on the first? I think um, I have, I've got a meeting with Jim and the, and the moderator on Wednesday. Um, so at that point, it would be okay. What's Dan leaving open for substitute motions to come in and I do? And if town council says, you know, she's found more information on something, then we would obviously meet to address whatever town council comes up with for additional information on anything. Mark, did you get any um, response to the letter you sent regarding yes, it, Article it was, 20? It was, it was basically, you're, it's a little late, <laughs> was, was the gist of it. But uh, no, I mean, he, he thanked me for the letter, um, was, was concerned that it was, that it was getting to him late, and he was looking at his timeline as to when he can act and get things done. Um, but as far as I know, he, he took the letter with, with, uh, with good faith and he's trying to move, move on some items. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm basically saying. We might have to go into, um, a regular FinCom meeting after the public hearing, if, depending on what he brings back to the table. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, any other questions or comments? There being none, thank you everybody for your service. Look forward to seeing everybody at the public hearing. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. No moved. Thanks, Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Have a good night. Did I, have a, did I get a second? second by Susan? Susan. Okay. <laughs> motion to keep adjourn. It Denny. Yes. <laughs> Josette. Yes. Allie. Yes. Andrew. Yes. Steve. Yes. Susan. Yes. Jeff. Yep. Kathleen. Yes. Lucy. Yes. Brian. Yes. Doug. Yes. Mark. Yes. Lisa. Yes. And myself. 1400, we stand adjourned. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Thank you.